<laughs> okay, we start this Friday with huge news on the vaccine front, and it's good news. Governor DeWine today announcing that the first federally funded mass vaccination site in Ohio, and it's in our backyard. Cleveland State's Wolstein Center will become a vaccination location. That will happen in a matter of just a few weeks. Let's bring in senior health correspondent Monica Robbins to tell us more about this and what we need to know. Monica, good afternoon to you. I, I think this is just another bit of good news and we're get, kind of getting used to this trend now. You know, this is something we've needed for so long, Jay. This is huge news, and you don't have to be Irish to get this lucky on St. Patrick's Day, because this is the news we have been waiting weeks to hear. It will be a joint effort by state and federal agencies to put this together in less than a week and a half. Cleveland State's Wolstein Center was chosen by FEMA based on its location to a large percentage of people at high risk and in medically underserved populations. There are 1.1 million Ohioans in Northeast Ohio who were over age 60 and many who live within just a few miles of the Wolstein Center who are medically underserved or living below the poverty level. So for eight weeks, local, state, and federal agencies will be able to vaccinate about 6,000 people a day, seven days a week. Overall, more than 25,000 people live within one mile of this site. Nearly 45% of these 25 thousand citizens live below the poverty level and 66 percent are in medically underserved communities. If you draw a six mile radius around Cleveland State, there are a hundred neighborhoods with higher than average vulnerability. Any Ohioan who falls in the current eligible categories can be vaccinated at the clinic, but keep in mind, the focus is mainly on those who are at high risk and have, have to have easy access to appointments because this is part of a federal program. The doses given out at the clinic are going to be in addition to the state's allotment going to more than 1,200 vaccine providers. So that's awesome news. This isn't taking away from any of the pharmacies or providers already giving it. And the Pfizer vaccine will be given for the first three weeks of the clinic and then those people who were vaccinated come back for their second dose and then the last two weeks they're not sure which vaccine they're going to be using but I'm guessing if they're only going to keep it for t for two weeks Jay and they're not going to expand the clinic the most likely choice would be the Johnson and Johnson vaccine yeah that makes sense because that of course will completely vaccinate everyone with just one shot so, Monica, we know that one of the difficult things about getting vaccinated has been just going through the sign up process. How will people sign up to go to this mass vaccination site? Please tell me it's going to be easier than what it's been in the past. Oh my goodness, I so hope so, because we have to wait for the details on that right now. But we are being told that there will be several options for scheduling appointments, including in person, by phone, and hopefully soon online with that statewide scheduling system. However, specific instructions as to how to book an appointment, that's going to be announced in the next few days. Again, we're hoping it's going to be a lot easier than what everybody's dealing with now. And at six, I'm also going to explain how people can get free transportation once they do get wow. an appointment. Monica, there, this is just great news all the way around, and I think it's really targeted to those that need it most. Monica Robbins, thank you very much. We're looking forward to more on this story coming up at 6. January?